Librarians, hello. I'm Carter Wilson, author of the upcoming thriller, The Dead Husband, which launches in May of 2021 from Sourcebooks and Poison Pen Press. So first and foremost, I just wanna say thank you for being librarians. You are all truly stewards of knowledge. And as somebody who worked for all four years in college in a library, I know how awful it is dealing with the general public. So hats off to you. Uh, second of all, I am thrilled to be partnering with Sourcebooks and Baker and & Taylor to have The Dead Husband be the June 2021 20, pick for the Murder at the Library book club series. And so to tell you a little bit more about what The Dead Husband is about, I think I need to explain to you how I write, which is a bit chaotic. I never think of an idea for a book. I never think of an ending, and God knows I don't outline. Um, all I do is think of an, an opening scene usually pops into my head, and it's filled with characters who I don't know who they are, and they're doing things that I don't understand, and I try to spend the rest of the book figuring out what that opening scene means. So the opening scene that came to me for The Dead Husband is this. Rose Yates, age 35, she's standing in front of the massive wooden front door of the mansion in which she grew up. This house is in Bury, New Hampshire, uh, where she was raised by a wealthy, controlling, morally dubious father. It's the house where she lived with her sister, Cora, uh, and she was very close with Cora until Cora slowly became unrecognizable. And this is the house Rose lived in until she fled when she was 18 because of a horrific event that happened behind those mansion walls. And she vowed never to return. But Rose has returned. And as she stands in front of this massive impenetrable front door with her 11 year old uh, son, Max, by her side, she's wondering if it was the right decision. But she's returned because her husband has just died from an overdose of prescription sleep medication and alcohol. And she's returned because she needs help but it could just be the worst decision she's ever made. So that was the scene that I thought of. I didn't understand any of it, so I had to figure it all out. And I spent the rest of the book discovering what it was that Rose was really running from, what actually happened to her husband, and most of all, what this dysfunctional and deeply disturbed family would do to protect one another. I had a lot of fun figuring it out. And I hope you have as much fun reading it as I did writing it. So take care, happy reading, thanks again.